Hello friends, welcome to my channel Slide Hunt. To subscribe this channel, click on the subscribe button that appear at the bottom right corner or you can visit my channel by typing www.youtube.com slash slide hunt. Today in this lesson, we will learn some HTML elements or tags and they are P element, BR element, tree element and edge tag. First we learn p element. p element is used to define a paragraph. Let's discuss it with a practical example. First open your text editor. Here I open notepad++. This is the basic structure of an HTML document. Here I open a page that has two paragraphs. I'm going to copy it and paste into the body section. Save this document. Now open this document in a web browser. You can see here all the text appear in a single paragraph. To print the text into two separate paragraphs, we need to use p element. Here I'm going to add an opening p tag and here closing p tag. Save it. Now refresh the page. Now you can see texts are printed in two separate paragraphs. If you want you can put this part in a separate paragraph also. Give here opening p tag. And here closing Peter. Save it. Refresh the page. You can see here there's no changes in the output. Now I'm going to tell you some important things that must be remembered. The first thing is it cannot be determined how a web page will be displayed. It's totally dependent on the browser window. Here I'm going to reduce the browser window. And you can see here, number of lines are increasing. And if we expand the browser window, number of lines will be decreased. The next point is, we cannot change the output by adding extra spaces or extra lines in the HTML code. Here I'm going to add some spaces. And here also. Save it. Refresh the page. You can see here extra spaces are not allowed here. HTML takes only one space between two words. Now I'm going to add here a new line. Save the document. Refresh the page. You can see here extra lines are also not taken by the web browser. The third point is most browser will display the HTML code correctly even if you forgot the enter. But not all browser. So I recommend you to use the end tag always. Next we learn br element. br element indicates break row. If you want to break a line without starting a new paragraph then you can use br element. Whenever you add a via element, the text after the via element will appear in the next line. For example, I'm going to add here a via element. Since it is an empty element, it has only the opening tag. It doesn't have any closing tag and any content. Save it. Let's check the output. You can see here the text after the via element appear in the next line. Next is pre-element. HTML pre-element defines pre-formatted text. The text inside the pre-element preserves both the spaces and line breaks. Let's see an example. Here inside the body tag I write four lines of a poem. And I want to print the poem in the same way that we write here. That means first it print first line of the poem, 
then in the next line it will be in second line then third line and then fourth line but normally HTML don't preserve the extra spaces and line breaks let's check the output save the document now open this document in the web browser you can see here texts are printed in a single line to print the text in this format we need to use free element so I'm going to add here opening free tag and here closing free tag save the document refresh the page now you can see here texts are printed in the same way that we write in the HTML document here I'm going to add two more space and here also save the document refresh the page and you can see here spaces are added similarly we can add extra lines also so I'm going to add here a line here also and here save the document refresh the page and you can see here extra lines are also accepted by the web browser so using the free element or free tag you can add any number of spaces lines tabs and other formatting characters that are ignored by the web browser okay next we learn hr tag HR tag is used to add a horizontal rule on the web page. It is an empty tag, means it doesn't have any content and closing tag. The web browser starts a horizontal rule from a new line and the text that follow this tag is also displayed in a new line. Let's see an example. You can see here inside the body tag I write a paragraph. Let's check the output. This is the output. Now I'm going to add here HR tag. Save it. Now refresh the page. You can see here horizontal line is not printed after this text, but it is printed in a new line. And the text after the horizontal line also appear in a new line. This is it. Hope you understand. I'll be back soon with another tutorial. Till then, take care and keep learning.